Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I just like to add this is the third time I'm recording this video. So if you don't like this video, I don't know, man. So third time, like this video. What is more expensive, Dubai, the UAE, or the UK? That's something I'm going to go through. Now, as you guys know, I am looking to, inshallah, make moves to the UAE closer to the winter time, December, Jan, Feb, whenever Qadr Allah, whenever it happens, it happens. Around that time, I am looking to move, but obviously I want to keep you guys updated with that. I do get questions from you guys, what's more expensive, what's cheaper, prices, that sort of thing. So inshallah, I can go through something like that with you in this video. Now, there are obviously some things that you have to bear in mind. The simple things like tax-free in Dubai, the simple things like, you know, it's Muslim lands because, you know, is that a sacrifice that you're willing to make that you want to pay a little bit more because it's a Muslim land? You know, maybe, you know, Dubai, I would definitely say is very, very clean very, I would say, you know, they, they look after Dubai. Are you willing to pay that extra amount for something like that? You know, so there's, there's things that you have to bear in mind. But, uh, you know, just to get that out of the way and go through what is more expensive, Dubai or the UK. Uh, and let's be specific. Dubai in itself is an area within the UAE, right? So Dubai is not a country the same way London is not a country. Uh, so I'm going to try talk about London and Dubai because I think it's a fair comparable. If I talk about, you know, Manchester, you know, even past Manchester, I don't know, Newcastle, so a, a cheaper area, for example, uh, in the UK and compare it to Dubai, I don't think that's as fair. So Dubai in itself, it is expensive, no doubt. Apartments, flats, a one bed flat, you are looking at a minimum of around the 70, 80,000 dirhams a year, which probably takes you to about... 12, 13, 1400 pound a month, depending on the rate, which by the way, currently the pound is so bad, like the pound is losing its value. Because the pound is losing its value, that's why when the UK is buying things, they are more expensive and therefore you are paying more money. So uh, it's, it's basics, but I'm telling you guys because actually when you think of to buy, the dirham is actually quite strong. When I say strong, it's all right. It's where it was and it's still there. So when they're buying something, they're still giving it out around the same price. The UK currently, when they're buying their, you know, fruits, veggies, whatever they bring from the outside, they are now going to have to sell it for a, a higher price because they're paying more basically. So to give you guys an idea, that's probably part of the reason to why the cost of living inflation and everything is just adding into it. But if we say in London, you can get an apartment, a flat, a studio, it does depend on where exactly you live, but let's say 1500 pounds, a one bed um, you know, apartment or a flat, I think that's quite fair, uh, you can get in a year. So you're looking at basically 17, 18,000 pounds, 18,000 uh, pounds a year, you will pay roughly in rent to live in central London or around the London area. In Dubai, you're probably looking at about 75, 80,000 dirhams, again, depending on where exactly you're living in Dubai itself. And so I would say that they are quite, you know, comparable in terms of, you know, in London it's this and in Dubai it's this, but let's be honest, I mean, Dubai, there's a lot of good in terms of safety, Cleansy, cleanliness, land, the massages are, are many in certain areas, of course, more than others. And so there are definitely pros. Having said that, I will add to this. If you live on the outskirts of, of London, you know, what we're talking about, we're talking about Hounslow, you know, Wembley, maybe that's on the outskirts. I mean, you know, the other side, Essex, uh, you know, outskirts of London, what we're looking at otherwise, we're looking at down down South London, past that area, basically. I'm not gonna lie, they're not the best areas, to be honest with you. Like, I can't really think of, I know there are certain areas, like, you know, I don't know, like Ryslip might be considered to be a nicer area, for example. There are definitely nicer areas, and of course, that's a bit subjective. I'm being a bit harsh, I have to be honest. And I'm being a bit harsh, I have to be honest, but the point I was going to make is this. You can easily, in the UAE, live in Sharjah and be 20 minutes away from center of Dubai, 25 minutes away from center of Dubai. Uh, and, you know, that doesn't feel like it's that far in the UAE. So, you know, in Sharjah, you're looking at maybe 45, 50,000 dirhams rent a year, which is actually all right. I mean, it's about a thousand pounds a month, right? So for me now, I would definitely suggest to the brothers and the sisters, if you guys are looking to the U move to the UAE, look at Sharjah. Sharjah is, you know, has some great areas, um, you know, a lot of masajids, nice for the Muslims, a lot more reserved, which obviously we like as well. And so from that basis, yeah, Sharjah, 45, 50,000 dirham uh, rent a year, 
you know, you can come to Dubai when you want to do an activity or whatever you want to do sort of thing. So there's definitely pros from that side. In terms of food and fruit and veg and shopping and that sort of thing, Sharjah again is actually cheaper, most definitely, than London, I would say. Uh, I mean, being there, spending a little bit of money, if you're in Dubai, your money is gonna fly. Your money's gonna go like crazy. Uh, you know, uh, Dubai is expensive. No doubt Dubai is very expensive. But if you're in Sharjah, you can definitely get things a lot cheaper. You know, if you know a market, if you know an area, if you know stuff, you can definitely, definitely get things done a lot cheaper than you would if you were anywhere near London. So to give you an overall understanding of it, in UK, if you're paying about £18,000 a year rent for a one-bed flat, in, you know, Dubai, you're probably paying about 75, 80, which, by the way, is roughly 16... 1600, 17, 1800, depending on the rate, depending on the rate. So probably a little bit higher. I'm going to say Dubai is probably generically a little bit higher. Again, I'm not going to lie, man. If you're looking at villas, by the way, and townhouses in Sharjah, you're probably looking at about two and a half thousand pounds a month, right? Villas and townhouses, even in Sharjah, are very expensive simply because there's not that many. In Dubai, uh, it, you know, it's more, three, three and a half thousand pounds a month. And that's like a two to three bed, very small villa and townhouse. Um, and so if you want something like a four bed, yeah, man, I'll be honest, you're probably looking at like five, five and a half thousand pounds a month. And so the villa and townhouses are definitely expensive. Uh, but I would say there's a lot of opportunities in Dubai, a lot of opportunities in the UAE to make money. It's tax free. You're saving there. You pay more. You know, so there's an element of balance, I would say. Here, you're paying taxes. Uh, you know, you might not get the same facilities and the services that you get in Dubai. Dubai might be a lot more cleaner. It might, you know, the, the it's definitely safer. I would say for sure Dubai and the UAE is safer, but you know, you will be paying more. So look, I would say again, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we want to talk about business, finances, get your money right, saving, investing, and that sort of thing. Because only when you do these things uh, and make that to Allah, and, and obviously Allah and the risk comes from Allah, but when you do these things, of course, of course, when you do these things, it's a domino effect to getting your money right and then inshallah making hijrah to the Muslim lands, which may be uh, something that you are willing to sacrifice um, in terms of paying more to make that move as well. So I hope that makes sense. Hope that gives you some context. Barakallah feek. Make sure to like, subscribe and share with your family and friends. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.